Hey guys, it's the Faceless Beanie and welcome to my quick fishing guide for Synethids and Caramotes. I'll be covering both of these fish in the same video as the ways to obtain them are pretty similar. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Of course, you'll need to get Caramot and Synethid bait from the business. Caramot bait is unlocked when you achieve the rank of Cove with the Solaris United and for Synethids, it's all made. Remember that these baits are consumables, so you'll have to buy a few for a fishing trip. Also, remember to have the shock prod spear in your gear. Next, let's get into what you can get with these fish. When you dismantle a caramote, you get Sagan modules, which can be used for the following items. Cryotra, apart for Patmoas, will need 5 modules. The Disic Scaffold M part from Little Duck requires 10 modules. The Lega Prism M part requires 10 modules. The Plega Brace M part requires 10 modules. The Ram Flare Loader, a kit gun part from Rood Zood, requires 5 modules. And the Ocu Core requires 20 Sagan modules. When you dismantle a Synethid, you get Ecosynth Analyzers, which can be used for the Splat Loader, a kit gun part that requires 5 analyzers, and Baruch's Neuroptics, which also require 5 Ecosynth Analyzers. Aside from that, of course, there's a ton of cosmetic gear from Roki and Little Duck requiring analyzers and modules. They will all be listed in the description. When you provide a caramel to the business for standing, a basic caramel will grant you 200 standing, an adorned caramel will grant you 300 standing, and a magnificent caramel will grant you 500 standing. When you provide a synethid to the business for standing, a basic synethid grants you 600 standing, an adorned synethid will grant you 800 standing, and a magnificent synethid grants you 1000 Solaris United standing. Now, on to catching these fish. Once you're in the Op Valis, open up your map. There's two good spots to catch them. The first one is the furthest cave on the bottom right of the map, and the other one is this small one on the left of Spaceport. Once you're in either cave, equip your spear and start to look out for these greenish glowy parts in the water with small splashes. These are hot spots, and you'll want to throw your bait right into them. After throwing your bait in, wait a couple seconds, and you should be able to catch your fish. Remember that these fish are not affected by the weather, so you can throw whichever bait you like at any time. Why I like the smaller cave here is that usually the entire body of water is a hot spot, so you'll have to do less moving around to catch your fish. As the fish spawn similarly, it's better to use synthetic bait and catch those if you're looking to farm standing quickly. And that's about it. Obviously this is targeted towards the Nintendo on Nintendo Switch since you guys just got Fortuna a couple of weeks back, so hopefully this helps you out and this is the Faceless Beanie signing out.